is just a basic bikini wax and when you're doing a basic it's really just what's out with the underwear line so when you've got your client on the bed you've already done your consultation and checked for contraindications you ask your client just to cover themselves so that you're exposing one leg at a time and you're just looking for any excess hair that's just out with this underwear line here and um, anything beyond that becomes a high bikini and then you get into your specialist bikini waxes you can ask your client to tuck a tissue in so that you don't damage the underwear with the wax and then you can use your pre-wax lotion just to cleanse the area, remove any surface oil or dirt and you're also checking that there's no visual contraindications that you might have missed. You'll see for some people there's a darker growth here, we've got a very light growth so now we're just going to take one section at a time so we'll take the top then we'll take underneath and if there's any hairs remaining after two attempts to remove we can always tweeze them out. So when we're waxing the bikini area and the underarm, the standard size of wax strip is just slightly too long. What would happen if you use this? You could be fine, but because it's a delicate area, there's a chance that you could bruise with the removal. So what you want to do is cut your strips to about this size, and the area that's left over you can actually use for facial waxing, lip, eyebrows, things like that. So this is the paper strip that we're going to use today. This is actually bonded fibre, which is a stronger paper strip or you've also got your fabric strips and these ones as you can see are actually already at the correct length so the choice is yours just make sure again that it's not too long or you do run the risk of bruising your client so when you're applying the wax it's the same standard procedure you just want to allow the wax just to start to slide off your spatula and you're aiming for the thinnest layer possible if the hair is growing down and it's starting to grow down the thigh then you can take it in strips and keep moving along but you might choose to do one strip and then remove one strip then remove what you don't want to do is overload the area and then make life complicated for yourself so do what you feel is comfortable so then what you're going to do is apply your strip again making sure that you give yourself the free edge and then because this is quite a loose skinned area again like the underarm you want to ask your client to additionally support so they'll hold just above the underwear and also just underneath you can then additionally support and then very firmly remove. If there's any sticky areas, again, support and remove. And then you'll know if there's any more here that you have to remove here. Again, you've got your two attempts. Okay, so now we're just going to continue. And again, we're just applying any wax to the area here where there's hair to be removed. Just take it over the areas that you need to. If there's no hair there, then obviously you don't have to bother. And we're very aware not to double dip your spatula because there can be blood spotting in this area. So we're going to apply the wax strip, make sure it's firmly attached. Again, ask your client to support the area because it is quite a delicate area. We are going to ensure that we're also supporting and then remove. Again, if there's any wax residue, just remove it. No more than twice over the area. We're fortunate there's a very light growth here so we don't have to tweeze, but if you do, just use either your slanted or your pointed to very carefully get rid of any ingrown hairs. Then what you want to do is give your client their home care and aftercare advice. So you've now finished your basic bikini wax and we've got just a slight erythema here, so this is a normal reaction. Clients will vary, some people will get much more red than others, some won't get red at all. So now we're just using a very gentle after wax lotion and we're just making sure that there's no wax residue on the area. It is normal though sometimes for your client just to have a little bit of stickiness, so you'll ask them for the remainder of the day just to wear loose clothing, nothing too tight, and uh, when they do have a bath or a shower, not to use anything that's too perfumed on the area. That's for 12 to 24 hours if they've got a normal skin, but if they're very sensitive, 48 hours. What you also want to ask your client to do is avoid heat treatments on the area and um, avoid things like swimming because it's now an empty follicle and they don't want to get any infection and um, avoid fake tan in the area because what would happen is you would actually dye the areas where the follicles have been removed and you would cause yourself a bit of discoloration and then just to take it nice and easy just treat that area with care for your 12 to 40 hours depending on your skin sensitivity then after that normally your client's good to come back every four to six weeks